Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna show you how to change the day to night in Final Cut Pro smoothly. But remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you very much. Drop a comment to show support as well. And let's start with today's tutorial. First of all, you have to select suitable clips. So for example, I would recommend a clip that is without any light source or you know possibility of having light. For example, this landscape video there is almost guaranteed to not have any light coming out from all these windows. On the other hand, if you choose a video like this, it's almost guaranteed to have a very poor and unnatural day to night change because as you know, CTs do have a ton of light and it's impossible for me to replicate all these lights with some simple you know tools in Final Cut Pro. Secondly, please remember to choose a video clip that you know is having a very very plain background and you know the, the background is almost entirely different uh, from the uh, you know content or the focus of the video. For example, the background the sky is you know blue color and what is left in the video is almost entirely free of blue colors. You can spice things up a little bit, you know, with some free image, with some free image such as, you know, a photo of a moon that you can get it for free in Unsplash. And you can get those starry, starry night photos and create a movement, but that will not be on focus today. Press option and drag this video clip upwards to create a duplicate. And next up, as you can see from the layout just now, from the actual video that I've already created, you might want to layer the photo or another video clip that is you know, below the entire uh, section of the video clips. For the first layer, it's you know just to have a very gradual change. I'm gonna first create an opacity keyframe the first clip at the beginning at the end i'm gonna bring the opacity to 0 0.25 not zero because it still has a little bit of natural you know, glow of the sky yeah you can still see a little bit of color which will be more apparent in the next step and let's unuse the first layer by pressing b and go to the second layer and add in the effects that we need to use. Let's go to the effects browser. So the first effect is found in the keying section, which is called here. And you just click on this and drag to your second layer video. And instantaneously, you can see that the background is, you know, entirely black. And, you know, if you're satisfied with this, you can go ahead with this one. If not, you can, you know, refine the keying with a simple tool of sample color over here. Click on this and go to the, uh, the video. If you have lost track of where is the sky, you can always change the view from the composite to the original and, you know, select the simple color. Yeah, like this. Remember to not choose, you know, the clouds change back the view and that's about it for the first part and of course you can you know change the color selections and change the luma a bit if you are very familiar with all these tools uh, if not i suggest to leave it untouched and let's move on to the next part which is to add in the day into night effect as usual you can drag it or just double click and it will automatically apply to the sample clip personally i will also increase the value of protect the skin because you know the color of the you know the, the structure over here in the screen is almost the same as the skin tone at least some part and you might want to increase the brightness and that's almost done for the second clip to spice things up i will also add a custom lut to this layer and maybe you know add a cinematic lot that i've already created and given to you guys maybe at night one and decrease the value a little bit and that's about it so let's use back the original clip and once you hit play with everything applied 
you realize that the moon is awkwardly in the middle of the entire clip so if that's the effect that you want you know you can go ahead and you know just export this clip if not you can obviously change this up so what I do for the sample video is first is to firstly create a keyframe at position and scale and maybe just to in case of anything create the keyframe at rotation and you know let's unuse the first layer as usual and click on this transform icon on the bottom left hand side of the viewer and obviously you can change the position of this moon and you know you if you want to you know start from the right to the left just go ahead and you know change the position for me personally I put it over here a little bit lower and at the end I'm gonna change the position of the moon over here and even shrink the scale like this and click done so once you hit play without anything without the first layer you can see the movement of the moon very clearly if not you can reuse the clip and see the end result yep that's about it and you know to make it more natural you can always you know increase the opacity to one or maybe three so the sky will be not as dark as you know unnatural with the moon so gigantic and that's the simple very easy to use kind of a transition and day to night change in Final Cut Pro and that's about it for today's video please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you very much and bye bye